What if it doesn't work for me? I'll be honest, freelancing is not for everyone. Some people say I quit my 9 to 5 to work 24 7. And while I do not recommend that approach, you need to be open to some unpredictability sometimes. What you just watched is a clip from my next video. If you're watching this in the future, it may already be out. If so, the link will be right there. And this video is all about why I stopped using Upwork. I know, shocker. And because I knew from the get-go that this was going to be a very rambly video, I decided I was going to try the script's latest AI tool, Edit for Clarity. Just, you know, to make it more watchable for you guys. If you do create content, whether it is for yourself to promote your business or if it's something you offer to your clients, I can never recommend this tool too much. You're going to want to continue watching because this is amazing. Now, some of you may know that I use this script all the time to edit my videos, to cut them into shorts, and even to record some videos like my latest proposal review, link right there as well. But honestly, their AI tools have just gotten better and better and they're seriously a game changer. And by the way, this is not necessarily sponsored by the script, but they are running a challenge for us affiliates. We're basically the first few people that do a demo video of this feature are eligible for a bonus. So full disclosure, I may or may not be paid for this video. I'll only know after I upload it. But I just wanted to be clear about that. Still love the platform, have used it way before they introduced these challenges and I'll keep using it until further notice. But on that note, if you'd like to also try it out for yourself again, highly 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 recommend i've even gotten many of my clients hooked on this as well i'll leave my affiliate link down below again i do get a commission if you buy through that at no extra cost to you so you'll both be helping out your business and my business at the same time win-win situation but i'm rambling already let's just go ahead and start using the actual ai tool shall we and for that, I'm actually going to move to my laptop right here. We're now inside the script and I'll show you how this all works. So we'll come right here to the top, a little bar that says actions. And we wanna go to ask AI. And then you can see right here, it's the second one, edit for clarity. And it will automatically fill out a prompt, a pre-made prompt. You can always edit these, but for the sake of this video, I'll leave it as it is, which says, edit this down to remove any speech disfluencies, repeated sections and tangents that distract from the core ideas. So let's give it a go. It will think for a little bit, hopefully not a long time. And then it basically will tell you what to cut off the video and you can apply it to script or you can set the copy edits to a new composition. So this is what it came out with. And in my opinion, it is kind of a merge of the remove filler words with the remove retakes. And you can see it went from a 16 minute video to a 13 minute video. So three minutes cut off right away. What I'm going to do now is also shorten word gaps. And this took off about another minute or so. Okay, this part I do want to leave. And this is why it's important to always check what AI says. I don't know, maybe in the future it will be perfect. But for now, I'll keep it. And the ones I'll keep, I'll just keep crossed off. Because I believe if I hit play, it doesn't show up in the edit. So let's see. Let's just hit play on this part. Next now instead of the 80 it's just not enough yeah it cut it off this one i'll keep off this one i'll keep off and i said i'll post i'll post i'll add it right here it was one of those triple takes sometimes it happens this was kind of like a side note a kind of self-deprecating joke moment but it makes sense to keep it off some of these i like to keep on just because it shows my personality a little bit. Honestly, this one is short. It doesn't distract too much from the main video, so I'll keep this. 
The thing is, especially with YouTube and video in general, you want to keep people's attention. And if you start talking about Upwork and then you start talking about your cat that just walked in the door, that distracts people from the main thing. And if they come to the video for Upwork, they'll just either skip it or exit out of the video altogether. And you don't want them to do that. So that's why it's important to keep it as clear and as concise and on topic as possible. Long way to say cut your videos. Let's see if we can speed run this last part so I don't bore you to that. I think it's good and we ended up with 12 minutes so a little bit longer than the initial cut they recommended but i think it's fair let me watch it and then i'll report back on how long the video ended up being so remember the video was 16 minutes and 7 seconds and is now down to 9 minutes and 8 seconds so almost 7 minutes cut down from mostly from AI again love the script I'll have the link down below if you want to try it out for yourself I hope to see you when I do post this video right here that I was just editing and any other videos so subscribe and I'll see you there